Hello guys and welcome to another episode of The Gist, where we discuss Nollywood films and African cinema. Today we have another exciting film, but before that, my name is Adi. And my name is Kayode. Okay, so today, um, today's film is called Phone Swap, and this is another film from Kone Afolai, one of his older films. Um, it was written by Kemi Adesoye, and the story surrounds a, an upcoming fashion designer and an arrogant executive and they collide at an airport and what ensues is that their phones get swapped and then we see some drama what do you think okay so uh, <laughs> let me get, clear this first i like the film generally i i loved the concept of it but there's this hang up i have about it that's making me flip-flop between thinking whether it's a good film or uh, like what's this about it's a scene where something happens. Okay, let me back up a bit. When you write a story, you, you, the, there's a contract between um, the viewer and the filmmakers that we would suspend our disbelief and take on whatever we're seeing on screen as plausible, as of this could happen. But it still needs to make some sense. It still has that sense of, okay, given some random circumstances, this could have happened to me. When you create a premise where this could not have happened, at least the way you show it, it becomes difficult to then connect if it's a core issue on which the story evolves or yeah. revolves around. And I think that's the thing for me. That scene where they swap the phones, just... I'm like, I, I could see many ways where that would not happen to me or any other person I know. And I, yeah. it just, it is a hang-up for me. And I think maybe I need to walk past that because, like we've talked about many times, there were some other really great parts in the film. But yeah. I just think that, that one is making it difficult for me yeah. to... To get over. Because I think I think the challenge with the film was the fact that the the whole premise of the film or the whole story was centered on the fact that they got their phones swapped. Yeah. So you had to establish that in such a way that it was believable yes. for the rest of the film to be believable. Yeah. But it wasn't believable. Exactly. <laughs> How many times have I said believable? <laughs> it wasn't believable. And unbelievable about all times. <laughs> But basically, well, basically, coming back to reality and believability um, is the fact that um, there were parts in the film that definitely stood up and were, were quite good. I mean, um, what do you think of Wally Ojo's character? Wally Ojo's character, I think it was great. Um, the thing with Wally Ojo, he's, okay, he's a very good actor. I, I love it. Most times I watch him on screen, he's, he's got what we call screen, screen or presence. something, screen presence, something called um, star quality. But the, the one thing with Wale that I'm still like, mm, is sometimes it's like I see him as Wale. It's just, <laughs> oh, that's Wale again. That is, it's, it's, sometimes you want to forget that person and just be yeah. into their character. And yeah. I think there's that thing in my mind that is, I don't know, sometimes my mind just sticks out, oh, it's him again. And yeah. I don't know, he's acting, forget who he is. I think he's one of those people that he has an unmistakable voice. You could close yeah, your eyes yeah, and yeah, you yeah. listen and you know that, oh, that's Wale Ojo. Yeah, yeah, I think but so. Bros, the chest and everything. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, you were really uh, ripped uh, on. Uh, come on, bro. <laughs> okay. I know he was in twenty two. I hope you are keeping it up, Shan. <laughs> exactly. exactly. But yeah, I know he did, he played it. He played it a very good role. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of Insiyetin? Generally, she's a competent actress. I think I particularly liked her in this one. I, I liked the way she delivered it. Um, a little bit too. Yeah, well, the character calls for, but I think some some of her the way she related with her boss. Normally, people that are talented that tend to have a certain level of arrogance about them. Okay, maybe she's a, she's the exception to the rule. But um, yeah, I, I think she she played it quite well. I, especially, I think my favorite moments of her was when she was with Jockey Silva. Yeah. But then that could be telling. They always say a good actress or a great actress makes you raise your green game. Exactly. So maybe that's what was happening. But I, I have to give credit to her yeah. because. She, she had a game to raise yeah. anyway, so yeah. I, th I think because even when she wasn't with Jockey Silva's character, um, part when she was in, a, in, in her flat, there was this reserved um, dignity about oh, yeah. her when yeah. she was acting. It wasn't, it, it, it's that thing when you're acting, when you've gone beyond the realm of I am acting, but you've taken on a character yeah. and yeah. you've forgotten yourself in that character. And I think it was quite believable and enjoyable to watch. Um, what did you think? Obviously, we've spoken about Jocker Silva. I mean, she's the Meryl Streep of Nollywood films. I'm telling you, is Nollywood it, films. Exactly. I mean, she's, she's, she's just, I mean... She's Jocker. <laughs> Sorry. I nearly said believable again. Anti-Jocker. 
<laughs> she's <laughs> yeah. No, but she, she's she's brilliant. Yeah. But um, the best one of the one one of the um, best characters for me that I, I just have to give I so much kudos <laughs> is Ada Ame, Ame. who played the role of Cynthia. <laughs> The, the, oh. oh my god, it's like proper oh my god. I mean, <laughs> the best way I could describe her character is like, you know when you have a Christmas party or you're at this big family event that you're going to, or like you're going to the village or you're going to your parents' home and you have that family member that you're just praying, nothing bad happens to them, but maybe by some stroke of good fortune, they can't come or their car breaks down so they have to go back home or they miss their flights. You just pray that they are not there because you know they are trouble. <laughs> that is exactly who she was, and she played oh it goodness. brilliantly, really, really well. Yeah, no, I, I think she 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 held the film. I wouldn't say she held the whole film together, but she made the film much more enjoyable, yeah, so much true. more yeah. enjoyable yeah. to watch. Exactly. And uh, I definitely give kudos. I want to give also kudos to Hafiz Oyetoro. I don't know if I got your name the wrong way around forgive me but your i mean your your comedic timing is just impeccable i i, I mean he, that under the table at the end of the film hello <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it strikes me as ah, there's, it, it, you know those characters where they just come and say you're, you're trying not to laugh exactly you're just trying not to laugh because that. they're just so funny yeah that is really no. so just got great down comedic timing definitely definitely so, um, what what would be your verdict on this? Ah, uh, this was a tough one for me in the sense that I. So there's so many good things about the film. So yeah. sometimes we beat on the film because we're trying to highlight some things that could have made the film better. But great cinematography, yeah. really, really super, super cinematography. Great camera work. Yeah. Um, the camera was near excellent as excellent can be. Yeah. Um, again, good direction generally overall. Brilliant storytelling in terms of the whole. If I if I try to ignore the the, the flaws where it descends away from being excellent is just it that scene was too central for me to make it yeah. a must watch so yeah. unfortunately just because that scene they didn't get the premise right which is the foundation of the whole film yeah. it has to be just a nice to watch for me yeah i think it's the same for me as well it's definitely a nice to watch um with that said thank you for watching this episode of the gist please head on over to our website for a full-length review of this film at nollywoodwillibar.com you can also catch us on Facebook. Please like, share. We really need those likes and shares. Um, also on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel um, so that you get regular updates of when we post something new. Head on over to Twitter, retweet, like. We love you when you do that. Um, and we'll see you next time on The Gist. Mm, <laughs> <laughs> My wife will be watching <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I don't I remember what I said. Ah, we have been looking good though. Yeah. Thank you.